Hey, it's David here from Freedom Founders. I get this particular question a lot, and, and so let me give you an answer today. But the question is, hey, David, I've got some outstanding loans. It might be student loan debt. It could be credit card debt. It could be a car loan, whatever. And I'm about to get some money from, from somewhere, right? And should I pay off that debt or pay down the debt, or should I invest the money? And I'll say that the answer is it depends. It depends on a lot of factors. It depends on who you are and your ability to invest money, number one, if you, if you can invest money well, uh, depends on what the interest rate and the cash flow that you're having to take out of your lifestyle or your potential investments, that cash flow you have to use to pay down that debt. And it has to do with what your overall risk tolerance is. So let's take one at a time. Is it, is it about the interest rate? Some people think, well, you should always pay off the highest interest rate loan first. No, not necessarily. So I said a minute ago, you need to look and see what the ratio is. We call it the liability efficiency ratio of which loans free up the most cash flow. That's where you want to start. It could be the higher interest rate loans, but it maybe not. And so you, what you do is you take the ratio. You take the ratio of the amount of cash flow, principal and interest. You multiply it by 12 to annualize it. You divide by the balance of the loan. And you do that for each loan you have, and you find out which one has the higher efficiency for paying off by using those ratios. That's the first way. We teach this in our Freedom Founders Blueprint workshops, how to do this. That's the first step, if you're going to pay one off. Now, you may, you may be one who says, well, I'd like to invest my money. Do you know how to invest your money? Are you good at orchestrating uh, investments at this point in your life? Do you know how to, how to adjust for risk in what you're investing in? Can you, can you do better than the actual interest rate on the loan or loans you're paying? Because if you can't do a whole lot better, you might be better off still paying off those loans. Now, remember when I say pay off, I mean pay off in full. If you only partially pay down a loan, you really haven't helped yourself at all. In fact, you've, you've, taken, you've taken cash that you might use somewhere else or just keep as an emergency off the table. So once you pay down a loan but don't pay it off, you can't pull that money back out again if you need it. So either set up a schedule to pay off a certain loan or loans in full or don't pay extra at all because I think it's a bad plan. Invest in your money to take special acumen. Now, risk tolerance. Some people just live better or sleep better at night if they don't have debt and so they just want to hammer everything down. If that's you, I'm not going to take that away from you. I'm just saying that you probably are leaving potential on the table if you're just hammering all your debt down without any thought of how to invest the money, whether it's in your practice or outside in what I love to do, which is alternative investments, real estate. You've got to make those decisions as to where you are. So it's a little bit complicated, but you need to be thinking about this and and figure out what your philosophy is, what your game plan is. It's not always about paying that off the highest interest rate. It's not even paying down faster unless you can get a loan paid off within a certain period of time to free up that cash flow to do other things with. Maybe just give you a margin of safety. So that's it today. Remember, always stay focused on your freedom, and I'll see you next time.